Number 1. Glacier National Park. Glacier National Park, also known as the Crown of the Continent, is a world-renowned national park in northwest Montana. Surreal Rocky Mountain scenery defines much of its boundaries, and these stunning alpine landscapes are unmatched throughout the rest of the country. Number 2. Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park encompasses a staggering 2.2 million acres. While much of this wild environment is in Wyoming, the north entrance is in Gardner, Montana. This friendly mountain town is at the southern end of the state's aptly named Paradise Valley and is worth the visit alone. Number 3. Lewis and Clark Caverns State Park. Lewis and Clark Caverns State Park offers an exploration of one of the largest limestone caves in the Northwest. And as Montana's first state park, established in 1937, it has a long history of hosting visitors. Today, exploring the underground is still the most popular thing to do. Number 4. Flathead Lake State Park. Flathead Lake is an incredible expanse of freshwater in northwest Montana. It's the largest natural lake west of the Mississippi River in the lower 48 states, and at approximately 28 miles long, this enormous lake gets a lot of attention. One of the best ways to experience the aquatic landscape is at Flathead Lake State Park. Number 5. Giant Springs State Park. Giant Springs State Park encompasses an enormous freshwater spring on the Missouri River and nearly 14 miles of shoreline. It's located next to Great Falls in central Montana and connected to the River's Edge Trail that spans the rest of the city. The park offers several outdoor activities. Number 6. Bannack State Park. Bannack State Park, approximately 90 miles south of Butte, offers visitors the chance to tour Montana's best-kept ghost town. This rugged area was the site of the first gold strike in the state in 1862, spurring a gold rush that would forever continue to define Montana. The town met its eventual bust. Number 7. Little Bighorn Battlefield National Monument. The Battle of Little Bighorn took place in 1876 in south-central Montana, an hour east of the current-day city of Billings. This armed engagement is also known as Custer's Last Stand, as it was the last battle of light. Colonel George Armstrong Custer He and the men of the 7th Regiment of the U.S. Cavalry lost the battle. Number 8. Whitefish Lake State Park This small state park is on the southern tip of Whitefish Lake in northwest Montana. It's one of many natural attractions that make this area popular throughout the summer. The state park encompasses 10 acres near the shoreline and features opportunities to camp, fish, and access the lake. Number 9. Pictograph Cave State Park. This 23-acre state park outside of Billings highlights the long history of human habitation in Montana. The three caves that comprise the state park display ancient rock art from native populations, some spanning back over 2,000 years. And alongside the sandstone illustrations, hundreds of artifacts have been excavated out of the caves. Number 10. Sluice Boxes State Park. Sluice Boxes State Park encompasses a rugged area of Belt Creek Canyon, approximately 40 minutes south of Great Falls. Mining and other natural resources first attracted visitors to the site, creating a once-thriving community in the late 1800s. Today, a few historic structures and remnants remain near the riverbank. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.